you guys. We're going to be starting with the Monster Color Wash, all of our Color Wash paints. So I'll give it another few seconds while we've got a few people joining us. Thanks guys for coming on live. So all about colour wash. So thanks for joining me tonight. Those of you joining us from the eastern states, thank you. You might be joining us from anywhere around the country at the moment. Thanks for getting on board and having a look at what colour wash is, finding out a few more details about it. This is a paint that is extremely popular and is becoming more popular in the market now for many renovators and even people that are painting to do their own work. Glenn, how are you, mate? Good to see people joining on board. So firstly, we've had people ask us about the colour wash range and there's been a number of people buying around the country that are using it in their renovations or just in general paint jobs is becoming more popular but firstly what is colour wash? Well colour wash has been a term that has been used for more for those that are actually looking for that washed appearance it's often referred to as that Scandinavian effect that Scandinavian look but it, it what it does different than a normal paint it's not as the opacity is not the same so you get a appearance to see the texture behind what the surface that you've applied it to. So if you put it on timber or wood for example, which is very popular for that, and I'll show you some samples shortly, you'll still see the wood grain. If it's used on brickwork or render, you'll still see the render work or the concrete work behind. And, and we've seen this used in domestic dwellings, but also seen it used in a lot of um, commercial applications. I've actually seen it in some of the restaurants now where they're using it either on a feature wall or all the way around. And what it does, it, it allows you to create that washed effect, but if you were to dilute normal paint, which many people have done in the past to try and get a color wash effect, you are weakening the paint. Anytime you dilute paint with water or a solvent, if it's a, if a solvent-based paint, you are diluting the strength of the paint. The difference with what we've got with color wash is that it's a water-based paint, it's low VOC, it has a mold and fungus inhibitor in it. However, most importantly, it is formulated and produced to give that colored wash effect. So there's no dilution. So when you are brushing onto the substrate or the surface, whether it be a vertical surface, or you can even put on a, on a, on a horizontal, you will not have to dilute it. As you brush or roll it out, you'll still get that washed effect, that color wash effect. And what that'll give you is that when it dries, it gives you the appearance of where you can actually see the, te the texture or the pattern of the surface behind it. And as I said, it's very popular for wood surfaces. Now, many companies out there are still recommending to dilute their paint to get that effect, but that's not long lasting. We have two grades, we have one for internal, ex interior, and we also have it for exterior. And what you'll find is that the exterior paint we have, if you diluted it, it actually would break down a lot easier in the weather. Our grade of colour wash will last like any other monster paint where it will handle external environments very easily. So as I mentioned before, you get that um, colour wash effect. So here's a good example of, you can see, hopefully you can see through your screens, but you can still see that pattern, that timber pattern behind it, but that colour wash has not been diluted at all. And so... Originally, it was always a white paint that was used for colour wash, and that's still very popular for that Scandinavian appearance. However, you can actually go to things like pinks, which we have. And this is a real popular one, and really popular on things like furnishings. Okay, But you know, imagine you get an old timber wall where you could have um, surfaces that you, you might have in, inherited it or bought a, an old house you're going to renovate, and you've got these old retro looking timber walls or wood grain walls. This is a great paint to put onto that. And, and thanks for joining me guys. All those uh, faces out there. Steffi, Garden Home, Beck, uh, Electalism, I think, artist. Thanks for joining me guys. Um, 
this is what you're getting from this is actually the final appearance and it's very durable. And so if you, like I said before, if you dilute paint, you're always weakening the paint. You don't get that with a color wash range. But there's no limitation on what you want. We've got a number of different surfaces. This is our gray. I'm not sure how that is coming up in the light from what you're seeing uh, on screen now, but really this is a popular one and it can be used well with some of those other colors. We sell a lot of the gray with a pink at times. But I like these colours, which is the ones that uh, really start to excite me with colour wash. When we start to get into the greens, there's a baby blue that's really popular, and these blend in well together. You get a great effect with this, particularly with some lighting that you can put in the home. But you can even imagine this sometimes for um, the greys, we, seem to, we, we tend to sell more in the exterior range, but a few people have got creative with the greys. Uh, sorry, the colours outside. This yellow is also very popular. Um, and it is a fantastic looking paint in terms of the way it can be used because when you use these, a lot of the times, as I said, you can actually use them uh, with another colour and it really highlights. So you can use a white with a blue or the white with a green or a yellow with a green or a grey and you really get that appearance you want. Now these work well in kids' rooms. Because we have low VOC paints, they're safe to use inside where you've got you know, living areas or again outside and the external one has got a mould inhibitor to ensure that fungus and, and mould won't break it down when it's exposed to outside, even if you're in the hot, humid conditions around Australia. The coverage of it, well, the coverage is like our normal paints, a litre per sort of 10 square metres, 8 to 10 square metres. It depends on how absorbent the surface is. But one of the great things about these, these colour wash ranges is that uh, on a lot of surfaces, you don't need to prime. Okay, you can use our prep coat, but if you do that, you can actually end up hiding the colour. So you want to get it straight on the surface. So you, you've got to clean the surface really well, but on an, on an absorbent surface, you can apply this straight on it, and yeah, as you can see, that timber grain finish. And you can imagine if this was brickwork, the appearances you can get. Now, we had a couple of questions come through. Someone actually asked, you know, are they going to get any half loaders? Well, I mentioned no, but I'm just going to show you something on one of our sample pots, just so you can understand how this doesn't look washed in the, in the pail. So this is my favorite color, okay, which is our turquoise. I love this, but as you can see, if you look at it the way it is in the can, it looks like a full body paint. And so you're not seeing it look like it's diluted or washed out in this wet form. I would roll it out, I'd brush it out, and it looks almost like a normal paint when I put it down. And we've had a few videos of late showing that. However, what you're getting is that once it is down and it dries, that's when you start to get this effect. And you can put two coats on there to give it a build. The second coat might hide a little bit, but you'll still get that appearance coming through from what the surface of the wall is. And I suggest if you are doing a renovation and you're working on this, ensure that you actually try in some um, inconspicuous areas like hidden areas where you can actually see the difference between one or two coats or get a piece of wood like this first where it's loose or a piece of board, coat one, coat a second coat and see what appearance you like and what you can do with it. Where I've seen this used very cleverly and some of the uh, customers have told us about it is they've actually used our normal monster paints or they've used another coloured paint or they've had a coloured paint on a wall and then they've gone and splashed a colour wash on top. So imagine if you've inherited a, a home where you've got a, an old dark coloured paint and you're worried about you've got a sandal primer on top of it, you can actually play, play with the colour wash over the top of that and the effect comes through and it is really effective. You know, you can imagine, you know, um, I saw someone recently where they actually did the black and white checker pattern, like a checkerboard or a chessboard, and then they went and put a colour wash on top of it. And so behind it you could see the black and white effect, but you know, with colours like the greens or the yellows on top of something like that, you can imagine the effect it would have. And it looks really cool and it's really good to sort of schnaz up a room. It could be a living area, it could be a kid's room. And like I said, it could be an external patio area or a living area where you actually, entertainment space where you are using that. And that's where um, we find that this has become more and more popular. Strangely enough, at the moment, during the winter months, we're getting lots of inquiries about this. I think it goes back to that whole Scandinavian effect because either people are thinking about, you know, Scandinavia doesn't get hot very often. But these are great looks. You know, even on things like um, toy boys or draw, uh, draw, draw boys where you've got cupboards or old um, 
pieces of furniture that you've inherited or you've got, don't know what to do with them, you give them a sand, particularly if they're timber, and you put these sorts of paints on top. The pink is really popular. We've seen a lot of people use this in baby rooms um, where they're actually doing rooms up. But we had a customer of ours that used it in a salon, and um, it really made a, a feature wall look fantastic. You can, you can imagine with certain prints that you're hanging on that, the sort of appearance that it, that gives you. You can see that wood effect in there now. And again, you know, if that was brickwork or render, you could even put a splash slurry coat, like that texture render coat over a wall, and put these colour wash paints over the top. And like I said earlier, there's no dilution. You use it directly out of the, the can, and you get a terrific effect, and it really gives you something completely different. Now, if you were to, let's say you're using a kid's room, and you had a young kid's room, or you had a, a family or a rumpus room, and then later on you're thinking what we do later, you don't need to sand this off. All our monster paints are compatible with other acrylics, but obviously our monster paints will go on top. So you give it a clean down after, you know, five, seven years, whenever you want to give it an upgrade. You can put our prep coat on top and you can put any paint on top of this again and it's there, you don't need to sand it off. So it's a really simple product to utilize and work with. A couple of the questions that um, came through, what are different surfaces color wash can be used on? Well, there's a number of surfaces you can use it on. We've been talking a lot about timber, I mentioned about concrete and masonry. Believe it or not, you can use it on metal surfaces. If you use it on a metal surface and, and you can get a really nice metallic uh, pattern sometimes, even on old um, aluminium surfaces or, or steel, you would need to use a metal primer. And if you are looking for that, then try and get a metal primer that dries clear. Or you might find the effect of a metal primer that could give you this sort of a light white finish or sometimes actually deeper coloured, by utilising the colour wash with it, you can even get a better pattern on it. But you could put it on a metallic surface if you wanted to. As I said, concrete, masonry, but things like cement sheet, fibre cement sheeting if you wanted to. Um, you could put it on, plastics probably not, but you could definitely, any of those general building surfaces that you'd use in a renovation or you've inherited in a renovation, go with it. And if you've got either timber that's been sanded, varnished, or uh, sealed, or you have a timber surface that's already got a paint on it, again, you can prepare that surface, and depending on what it is you want to do with it, you can go directly on that paint. We, we had the question about emitting harmful odors. There are no harmful odors emitted with these paints, either they're our interior grade or external grade. And um, like I said earlier, your opacity level that you're going to get with these paints will all depend on how many coats you want to give it. You could even give it two or three coats um, if you were gave it a third coat, it'd give you a greater opacity, but it still won't give you the blocking out, so you still will get that washed effect. And the colour wash is something that's in season at the moment. Ask us, we've got multiple colours. We've got grey, dark grey, baby blue, pink, yellow, the traditional white, our green, and as I showed you before, my favourite, our turquoise, which I really love. And if you want to see this, we do a video going... I think on our Facebook and Instagram page at the moment. Monster Renovate is the place to get your colour wash range if you want that. If you've got any other questions on colour wash, you can. Hey guys, Jacko, thanks for joining. If you've got any other questions on colour wash, fire them away now while I'm here. But you can get hold of our Monster Crew. Or if you want to go deep into a renovation exercise, you've got our Monster Pros that we can talk to, particularly our designers. Our interior designers can help you match the paints with a full out renovation scheme or a new home that you want to paint. You can certainly use these paints for that, those applications there like so. Um, and the other thing is monstershop.com. Like all our other paints, they are there, available, easy to find, easy to use. And if you've got any questions on that, go with that. These are readily available now. All of you on Instagram, thanks for joining me. There's a few on Facebook still. Thanks for joining us, guys. Um, questions fire them our way. We've got a number of these colours available now. And like I said, they will match you with any of the other monster paints that we've got going. You can match them with our whites or any other colours that you've got. Um, or if you've got existing paints from a, from a previous paint job you've done, these will match in with that. So... Colour wash it is available now. You've got the various... Um, grades available in terms of the colours you want. I'm just going to show you this yellow because you can see that how that effect comes through. And this is really this 
probably gives you the best example of how colour wash gives you that effect. It is, it is, it's one that we just keep getting uh, lots of queries on. And as I said, don't feel it's limited to timber. You can do this on render work, external brickwork, internal brickwork, uh, or concrete or any other patterns you want to uh, apply. And remember, we have an interior grade and exterior grade. You don't buy the interior grade and use it everywhere because the interior grade will break down to UV light. But the exterior grade, we have four exterior surfaces, so we'll handle all the weather conditions. Interior grade, like any of our paints, safe to use inside if it's in your kids' bedrooms or in your general living area or kitchen areas. If you've got any further inquiries on the colour wash range, guys, please throw them our way. Appreciate you joining me. And uh, we have colour wash, gold wash 605. Unfortunately, Archie, we do not have that colour. But if you want to get hold of one of our monster crew, we would love to answer that one and see where we might be able to develop the gold wash range for you. Thank you. The Renovate guys joined us, joined us well. We've got, guys, any other further questions, please throw them my way. We're about to wrap this up shortly. Appreciate you joining me tonight on the Colour Wash, any all about Colour Wash live session. Instagram followers, thank you very much. Facebook followers, thank you. You can watch the repeat on this. We'll be showing this on our platform shortly. Good night.